If only Benita could save you now. <laughs> Alright, well that's all done now. Come check out the new extension. It's actually sick. Well, we are making progress. It's looking pretty sick, and I'm glad the boss came over for a look and got the tick of approval. Wow, this is awesome. That's good work for Josh. Pat on the back there, buddy. Like a glove. Yeah, super stoked. It's it's actually going to look really good. I can see. I can picture it in my head now, and. Now that like the slats are up and just when everything's varnished and painted and then with the new cushions and stuff in here, Nanji's gonna feel like a nice new home. It is taking a bit longer than I thought, but all right. It's always the way when you say to go to the boatyard, you say four weeks, but really that means six or seven. You say one week, that really means a month. It's, uh, the lockdown was getting a bit monotonous just kicking around Langkawi and it's been really good to now have stuff to uh, to look forward to and something to work towards. Always like having something to work towards and making Nanji beautiful and getting ready for bubs and got a lot going on in the future. It's, yeah, I'm going to be a proud dad pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that screams boat work like having a baby though, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, we're getting there, look at this. What do you reckon? I reckon that looks pretty good, eh? Wait till that's painted. Oof! Done a bit on the uh, port side here as well. Got to do something about that bulkhead. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. I'm done. See you tomorrow. So I got the bulk of that done now. Uh, I think I might need to put some sort of trimming along the top there just so you can't see that ugly edge. But now I'm going to tackle this bulkhead and I know one of these sides is a bit manky and I'm pretty sure there's a bit of ply behind there that's no longer any good so I think there might be a bit of destruction going on right now. Uh, I haven't told Benita about this one. It's always been there because uh, when you hit the fiberglass on the back side in the lazarette it's got flex and so I know it's, and you can see that it's all compressed and shittier as well so I know there's nothing good there. I'm going to replace that with a new sheet of ply and I'll plank that up as well. All these bits of structural ribs that come through, I'm going to leave them. Uh, I'll just put some filler over the top of them and make them all nice and smooth and they'll get painted in with, with the planks as well. Should look pretty sick. I'm actually pretty excited how this is going to look at the end. I reckon it's going to look really good. <laughs> if only Benita could see me now. <laughs> All the wood's dry, so I think this is from previously. They, when we first had Nanji, they there had been a repair done on port side, and so I reckon that that's when water got in and done this. Because since then, all of this is just dry wood, so. Technically, I could have coated all of this with penetrating epoxy, but it would probably take about five litres, and that's probably $1,000 worth of penetrating epoxy, or I could just rip it out and put a whole new piece of ply in there, which is what I plan to do instead. This just looks pretty gnarly. <laughs> the destruction phase always looks gnarly. You can see in there how, like, it's just crumbling away, so like it's all rotted out, it's good for nothing. It's like, it's more of a divider, it's not an actual bulkhead, it's just been a piece of ply that's screwed into these structural ribs on the other side there and then glassed in on the other side. So I might as well just do the exact same thing, like at the moment that's doing absolutely nothing. So if we were to lose anything in the transom, we're just going to have water go straight through that. So yeah, I'll just rip it all out, it's not that big a deal. It's kind of fun actually. 
man, if Benita was here, she'd be shitting herself. All of that is just nothing, you know, it's not doing shit. I'm just putting my finger through it. Best thing to do is just rip it out and put in a new one. <laughs> ah, well, that's a bit of a mess. Pretty much that whole back bit was just disintegrating in my hands, so it was just all rotted out and cactus. The only last little bit of solid is that little corner there, but uh, and I'll jump in the boot now and I'll cut the glass and because there's no point in just keeping that glass there, it's not doing anything. It needs something to stick to to make it structurally sound and so there's no point in just having the sheet of glass there just flexing and wobbling away. So I'll cut that, all of that out and we'll be able to clean it all up then. And then, uh, yeah, and we'll start construction phase. I've built my little wall to protect the aft cabin here from the uh, from the grinding dust because I'm going to jump in the lazarette and I'm going to totally get all that glass out now so I'll do a fair bit of grinding. A little bit of an unexpected job, I didn't really feel like putting the sperm suit on again and jumping in the lazarette but you've got to do these things to make everything perfect you know. So I just got to make sure we can try to minimise the dust from coming further into Nanji. There'll be a lot of paint that I'll be grinding off and I've a bit of fiberglass as well so yeah it's gonna be a pretty shitty job but I'll be stoked when it's done and everything's all boarded up and looking schmicko <laughs> That's a uh, not a very fun job. I think I'm going to now refer to this as the aft cabin extension, the bedroom extension. So I'll clean it all up. All right, now that we can safely breathe again in the uh, man cave here, we can show you what's going on a bit more. So you can see around these edges, like all this plywood is just really just falls out when you touch it. It's just fully rotted through. So there's no point in keeping it. You just gotta rip it all out. But there's just this one little section here behind where the camera is that's all pretty solid in. So I'll have to take the shelf out that I'm leaning on and uh, just slowly chip away at it. There's, there is the gas line through there. So I just have to be careful of that, of course. But yeah, this, that's the last bit of solid ply. So I might even, if I can get a straight edge somewhere along there I'll go to that but I want to make sure I get all this rot out because uh, when I cut out all the rot on the d on the deck years ago there was a section uh, just the last little bit and I thought it would be fine because I got right up to the edge of it but I'm going to have to do something about that this time around in the boatyard as well so just really want to make sure there isn't any rot and I just want to get rid of all that sort of stuff because I don't want to have to ever do this again. That's all done now. Come check out the new extension. It's actually sick. I'm contemplating whether to uh, just not put a wall there. We need it for storage, but if we didn't need it for storage, I reckon that would be pretty cool. Nancy just needs to be an extra two meters long. That's, why, that's the feeling I have now. It's just an extra two meters of Nanji, and this aft cabin would be massive. <laughs> Maybe that'll be my next project. I'll extend Nanji by two meters. <laughs> All right, we'll go see old mate. Let's get a piece of ply made up. That'll go get put in there. This is we're up to like week four, coming to the end of week four now in the boatyard. And I was hoping we'd get all this done in four to five weeks, but it's probably gonna be more like five to six to seven, just a few holdups. Had to wait a couple of weeks, probably three weeks now for this cutlass bearing to arrive. So there's just lots of unfinished jobs going on at the moment, which is a little bit frustrating. Islam the carpenter that's uh, on site here, he's 
the guy that stripped up all the planks for me all around the edges and uh, he cut out the shells for the V-berth. So with the uh, the divider and the fake bulkhead that's going on at the back here, uh, I got him to cut out a piece. So he was in the lazarette for a couple of hours with a fella yesterday. Uh, really enjoying the man cave and they've just been cutting up the uh, cutting up the piece to, to fit. So I'll go have a look at that in a sec. These arms done a good job of cutting out these two pieces. It's a bit of a, a bit of a puzzle to slot them in, but I'm happy that he's he's taken up a lot of that area, and so there isn't much filler and stuff that will need to be used. So I'll just do a bit of a dry run first to slot them in, make sure it's all sweet, and then I'll uh, I'll start mixing some epoxy. Uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel. I reckon we got enough. It'll go close. You mix it two to one, so I reckon by the time all of this is together, we should have enough to go all the way around the outside here. Set it once, I've set it twice. When you think it's mixed, keep mixing. That looks pretty sick in the end. I'm pretty stoked with how that turned out. There isn't really much of a gap around the edges here, so old mate did really well with fitting these couple of pieces. There isn't much area gap on the side that'll have to fill up with filler, so I might actually mix up some filler now and just smash it all in those edges, so uh, then I can attack the whole lot with a sander grinder in prep for, prep for fiberglassing. By the time that's done, that's gonna look good. It'll look like another bulkhead. Yes, yeah, stoked, that's gonna be so good. Good work, Josh. Good work, Josh. Woo! It's always gonna be a great day when you start out in the man cave with the sperm suit on. So I've, I've smashed all that out and grinded back all my filler and stuff and got it ready for glassing in here. My joint here was actually pretty good. It's not like it had to take much off and I, uh, I managed to squeeze in a heap of wood epoxy glue when I stuck that in so that joins all nice and solid the other side is now all planked up so that's all joining to the other side as well so it's already in there really solid but I just want to fully waterproof this and make it super strong previously there was just little tabs around the edge like this and then a piece of glass across that so I'm going to copy that and pretty much do the same I'm just sanding back this this rounder edge at the moment just to try to get its general shape so there isn't too many indents or holes in it and then when I glass I'll do wet on wet so that should totally fill up all that all that space I'll just give it a bit of a hand sand now and then I can start getting ready for fiberglassing So the other day I got to fiberglass up those little edges and so I made that fillet and got this 800, 800 gram glass to bend around on those edges so that's super solid and then now I just need to make the whole back bit of plywood. I'll have to just waterproof it but we'll totally strengthen it and I'll put a big piece of 800 gram biaxial up across there as well joining into those tabs so that'll just make all of that one big solid structure. I've got all this extra glass. Uh, from when we went on the reef, I bought like 20 meters of of biaxial, so uh, of this stuff here. And so this is just left over from the stuff that I put onto the bottom of Nanji. So it's good. I always like to carry a lot of epoxy and a lot of extra glass, just in case if shit does happen. And it's obviously paid off already, so we'll continue to do that into the future. But now I'm just measuring up this back piece of glass. It, this one should be pretty easy. It will be a big piece, but it's going to be pretty easy because it's just one big flat surface. So I'll measure this up and cut it all to size. It's 180 by 105. Just have to remember that, have to say that out loud so I don't forget it. 180 by 105. 180 by 105. 
Nighty Lamar. Cleaning up this last grind marked a major milestone with Nanji in this refit as the destruction phase is over. 90% of the interior of Nanji is now planked up and the transformation is visually starting to take shape. Check it out. I reckon that looks pretty good in the end. I'm pretty stoked with how it's going to turn out. I've cut up the little edges so I'll just put up the corner seam around in here. And then uh, I think because today is quite wet, it's all raining outside, so I can't really do anything outside. So I might as well just continue on with what's going on down here. I might put some primer up. That'll make things look a little bit different. Yeah, I'm going to primer. <laughs> 